Hi guys! So today I'm just gonna do um, a little short video and show you something really exciting that happened to uh, me and Shibanga. Um, today we had a visit from Tibet and uh, the last today it's the 28th of December and um, the last time that we had the vet here was the 12th. So in the time in between we've been walking, he's been walking under saddle, he's been doing really well. Um, we started out doing the 50 minutes of uh, 25 minutes by hand and then 25 minutes written and then slowly increased and uh, now he's done uh, seven times of 50 minutes under saddle and we even went to the outdoor arena that uh, was the first time he went there and I was a little excited to see if he was going to behave or if he was going to jump around so it's um, well obviously he's been confined to a stable and an indoor arena for so long to have him absolutely controlled and not doing anything silly to ruin the the injury again but um, he was absolutely a perfect behavior so uh, it's very exciting because what happened today I'm gonna show you now Now I'm seeing two big black holes. I don't like that. <laughs> well, that's right. We had another check, another ultrasound. And um, it was actually the best ultrasound he's had now since his injury. And it showed that the first injury we cannot see. It looks completely normal. And um, the second injury, it's already better. So actually the exercise has helped the fibers. And uh, we are cleared to trot tomorrow. Yes, actually trotting under saddle for the first time since the 21st of April. Um, no, that's not true. The 20th of April, because the 21st had his day off, and the 22nd we found the injury. So um, it's going to be super exciting. And uh, when we get to the trotting tomorrow, I'm going to do a little video that will explain the training program. So you have an idea of uh, what we'll be doing for the next very long time. The plan is still to do the, the, the training pro protocol um, slower than what you would normally do. Um, he is a difficult case, as we say. Um, you're not a difficult horse, but the the healing of the leg has been very difficult. So we're gonna do it slower. And um, my next video, I'm gonna take you through the training protocol. And, and then uh, hopefully in the next three months, you will follow us until he's back on full training. But um, as this is like a, a very long time to recover, it will be at least another six months before we can even think about anything like competitions or more difficult exercises but uh, the main thing is he's getting better and he's coming back to having a real life and not being just stuck in here which is uh, I think almost as hard for me as it has been for him um, but absolutely amazing news today and I'm gonna show you now uh, a few pictures that we took from the ultrasound know if you're ultrasound experts at least I'm very happy that my vet is because I find it very difficult to see but uh, all the pictures that we took um, he said were really good and very good images so um, we're super happy and somebody's ready for his uh, night feed I'm sorry for the lighting and everything but I uh, just wanted to finish today with uh, telling all of you that our next step is about to happen and we're very happy. So thanks for following and um, thank you to everyone that's been sending questions and uh, asked about uh, the protocols and the training and how it happened and um, that's what I'm going to be doing in my next video. So please stay tuned and I'll try to answer all your questions and tell you a little bit more about uh, the background and how we're going to continue from here. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.